Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making pozole rojo, red pozole. It's a super uh, a soup that we make around Christmas time, but today the weather was a little cool out, so I decided to make it. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and let's get started. So here are our ingredients. I'm using two pounds of espinazo de puerco, which is like the backbone of, it's like pork, or you can use pork shoulder, two pounds. So um, we're gonna start with boiling this with some onion. Cut the onion in half and put it in the water. And we're also gonna put a tablespoon of minced garlic with that. And then we have our radishes, a cabbage, and this is all for garnish at the end when our soup is done. And then we'll be putting oregano, some ground cumin, salt, and pepper into our broth. And we'll be boiling 10, nine to 10 guajillo peppers for our broth as well. And then we have our hominy, and then lime, so we can splash lime at the, um, when the pozole is done. So I have my meat here boiling. I had it on high. Once it starts boiling, put it, bring it down to like a medium or a little bit lower. And I have my onion in here ready and I put the garlic in here. Add some salt to your own liking. Pop a lid on there. We're going to let it cook for another hour or so we want the meat to get very tender that's why the temperature is low and it's cooking slowly i've also had my guajillo peppers here i have nine of them here boiling for 15 minutes i'm gonna turn it off and let them sit there until i'm ready to use them so while our meat is cooking and stuff we can go ahead and start cutting your vegetables and stuff i just slice these like this and some cabbage lime and this is chile de arbol that's like you crack it and you just put it inside your soup and it gives it a little kick if you like spicy food. So we're going to be blending our peppers in the broth that it boiled in. It's about two cups. And then we'll be straining it with this bad boy here. And our meat has been cooking for about 30 minutes, so I'm just getting this ready. And we are also going to start rinsing off our hominy. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So this is our hominy. We're just going to run it through some cold water. I already strained it. Make sure we clean, clean it pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the whole can. I'm not sure how much it's in the pot. But a lot of people, this is their favorite part of the soup. So use as much as you want. So we have our the strainer here. and We're just going to go ahead and pour our chile mixture into there. So we're just going to go ahead and run this through here. And with this, if you just tap it like this, show here, just the chile will just come out. And then we're going to go ahead and just stir it around. We're going to add the rest of our spices. Still haven't stirred this around, but I wanted to show you guys how it looked. This is our ground cumin. I just kind of eyeball it. Probably like a teaspoon. You don't want to put too much because it's a strong. And I only used half of the hominy. That's all that fit into this pot. And then this is our oregano. A few dashes should be enough. And then add your pepper. And then you want to taste it of salt now. And if it needs more, you can go ahead and do that as well. And then we're going to start stirring it around. And we're going to let it cook for another 20 minutes. And this should be done. So it has been cooking for like an hour and 10 minutes and it is all set and ready. And the meat is super tender, it falls off of the bone. And I'm about to plate this with the garnishes and stuff so you guys can see. This is my finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super simple, very fast and easy to make. I'm I guarantee this would impress anybody who likes pozole. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I know I take a while to post videos, but when I do post them, they are worth watching. And very easy to make, and I'm sure to make, they'll make anybody happy. So I hope you guys stick by me, and until next time, bye.